Hi. I'm a romantic guy, so to me, love is very important. And you girls will be surprised to learn that I'm currently available. Yeah, good. And if this was a dating service, I'd care. Now talk about your attitudes towards love. Oh, I'm in favor. I'm also in favor of candlelit dinners and long romantic walks on the beach. Answer the question. The question is, am I the guy for you? Cut! Now, hi. We're Corey's parents. Yes, we are. Both of us. And I'm Eric Matthews, the guy for you. Here's the phone. Two operators are standing by. Eric, what you're about to see may shock you. Then put a towel on. Okay, look. Oh, my God. I don't see anything at all. Hello. You want to tell us anything? Uh... Not yet. <laughs> now I got something to tell you. We found this in our bed. Now, what was it you wanted to tell us? I just wanted to say, happy birthday, Mom. The other one's on layaway. I've got hair, huge amounts. Yeah, you're right. Where? I've got hair on my chin, on my chest, and other places I don't see where having hair on is really going to help me. Hey, you're right. Look, little wispy hairs. Congratulations, you're going through puberty. At least that's one explanation. I know, you're right. Are you doing anything right now? No. Well, then you're going to want to get these. <laughs> Desiree Emmeline Hollinger Beaumont. But you may call me Desiree. Eric Matthews, you may call me Desiree. <laughs> so I'll see you Friday? No. Okay, then. So, what's new? I'm gonna kill you. I have you. I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna bring you back to life, and I'm gonna kill you again. I have you. What? What do you have? You have what I have. Nothing! <laughs> nothing happened between me and Rebecca, if that's what you're thinking. Why should we believe that nothing happened? Look at my face. Do I look happy? <laughs> Nothing happened. So your social status means more to you than your brother? Oh, Mom, look, I don't like walking all over Corey any more than you do. It's just to keep up appearances. I mean, he's my brother. Of course I love him. Oh. Jason, I... Um... I'll see you on Thursday. Excuse me? No, excuse me. But see, we've been dating all month long, and I've been your willing slave, and you've gotten everything you've wanted out of this relationship. What was I ever going to get? <laughs> oh. Goodbye forever. You are an idiot. <laughs> Nothing happened. Yeah, and it didn't happen in Mom and Dad's bed. I have you. I have you by your ovaries. <laughs> hey, Cor, buddy. I'm not gonna kill you. I mean, I was one of those wacky brother-to-brother -brother murder threats. Yeah, listen. I'd like you to do something for me. Anything you need. Tell me how you do it. What I was doing with Rebecca? No, no, no. what you were doing with Rebecca, I don't have the lung capacity for that. <laughs> I just want to know. How do you get a girl to say hi? Oh, you're wasting my time. I have you. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't reveal my foolproof method. <laughs> but I know I can count on my favorite little brother to keep a secret. I'm listening. Okay, you got eyes? Yeah. Use them. How? Look at her. Look into her. Look through her. I mean, make her think she's the most exquisite thing your eyes have ever beheld. Who her? Who cares? Pick somebody. Well, how do I pick? You got eyes? I thought we established that. <laughs> make eye contact. Make her eyes believe that your eyes are interested in her. So I have to be interested in her? No, you're overachieving. You only have to make her think you are. So we find in Fielding's novel, the character Tom Jones is absolutely irresistible to women. You done? Guess I am. Guess again! What are you doing here? I have no idea. <laughs> but I do know that I'm not going to stand by and let you beat up Somebody that I don't even know at all. <laughs> okay, okay, he's my brother. Oh, this is your brother. Didn't he just say that? 
Did not he just say I'm his brother? Just how stupid... Corey, don't provoke. <laughs> Eric, you're in some big trouble here. Hey, go easy on him. I need this brother. He taught me how to get what I want from a girl. <laughs> Excuse me? He taught me how to get a date. And it worked big time. Oh, I see. And who is this girl? Uh... I don't know her name. You don't know her name? Not yet, but I'm gonna find out before I make any type of commitment. How can you manage to ask a girl out if you don't know her name? All part of Eric's foolproof method. All right, Corey, get the phone. Oh, Eric has a foolproof method. Ring, ring. <laughs> Go ahead, Corey. All right, well, first you pick a girl. Any girl. Just any old buddy. Yeah. Then you pretend you're interested in her. Now, you don't really have to be interested in her. I thought you did, but Eric said it wasn't necessary. <laughs> ring! That's what you told him? What, does it matter what I told him? I'm dead. You had the big sex talk with him two years ago. What did you tell him? Not that. How could you think I'd tell him that? Ellen, I'm not accusing you. Oh, yes, you are. You accuse me of this, and yet you refuse to accuse me of having an affair. That hurts. <laughs> Corey. I know you look up to your brother, but I want you to go to your father for advice on this subject. Eric has some explaining to do about his own behavior with girls lately. I know. What do you know? Pretty much everything. I kind of walked in on them. Amazing. On Eric and his friend in our room? How could this happen? Dad, Rebecca sat down on the bed and went like this. Responsibility? Well, clearly I should have locked the door. Uh, Eric, you're missing the point. No, I know the point, Dad. I should have controlled myself, but nothing happened. Eric, Eric, you are in so deep. Dad, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm really, really screwed. You know, for thousands of years, fathers have said to their sons, don't rush into sex, and the sons have always said, yeah, sure, okay. Well, I didn't understand my father till this very moment, and you won't understand me till your father, which won't be for a very long time. Dad? Learn her name. No. What are you?